Who's got dark poops? I don't know who has dark poops. Who's got dark poops? Jarvis, you got dark poops? No. is really starting to come in again thankfully we just got to get these guys off but I want to show you something that uh oops sorry <laughs> that this little man did hi how are you hello hi bishop how are you today you had itchy feet huh yeah you had itchy feet yes I had itchy feet <laughs> Can I go look at your itchy feet? Yes? May I look at your itchy feet? Yes, you can look at my itchy feet. <laughs> okay, we're going to come back here and look at his itchy feet and show you what Mr. Itchy Foot did. I don't know how he did it, why he did it, but he did. He did. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys. Yep. He broke it all open and rubbed it all raw so that's gonna need to be cleaned up massively because um, the flies are gonna come out and get in it really really bad so mister why did you rub your feet huh? why did you rub your feet I don't know I don't know why I rubbed my feet I had itchy feet <laughs> You're a good boy. You really are. You're a good boy. You're a great sport. You know that? Yeah, you are a great sport. Good job. You gonna take a nap? You really do like to be just talked to and comforted. Let's see what the other side looks like. Well, it's looking not bad. It's starting to heal up a bit. This is already healed up a bit. We'll clean this up and put more stuff on it. Make sure some of that hair grows back again. Yeah. You're just a full mess. You're just a mess of mess of. So, we're going to do that today. We're going to um, attempt to bring him back into the barn. I might actually just do it out here. He seems to be much more comfortable out here. And your, ear, your hair on your ears are growing back. Look, he's got very, very fine baby hairs <laughs> on his ears. <laughs> I know. And his little mohawk's growing back. So that's what happened. I don't know why. But that's what happened. But he's going to take a nap. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to doctor his leg. Um, this morning, when I went out um, to feed the chickens, I noticed that he was kind of doing like the little pee, pee dance. You know, he was kind of like, he was doing like this a lot on the back of the logs that are out there at the fire pit. What was going on I thought maybe he had like itchy legs or you know scratches on his on his feathers or something like down here or something like that and he was just scratching them which is no big deal but it's a little worse than just a scratch so we're gonna doctor that up and um, we're also gonna put something on that side too I probably should put a hay bag out because he's standing right there so I'll give him something to do um, but we're gonna doctor that up and 
see why he decided to do that. The good part is, is I have some equiderma and this will really help with everything and I think he's gonna poop. Oh God. Ew. He's really rubbed this raw. Good boy. He has really rubbed all of that raw. So we're gonna definitely get that cleaned up. Easy. Good boy. And uh, it's all raw all the way down there. I was gonna take the clippers to it, but I think it's so red. I don't know if I can get the clippers on it, but we'll just smother it with that stuff and go from there. So he did well. 
Um, and uh, I put him back out. He didn't really run off too much um, because Jarvis and Darcy were in here. He could care less about Darcy, but um, he didn't go very far. But he did really good. And that was also a training session for standing quiet for any length of time while he's tied. It was kind of good that the other two were there, just kind of keep him company. Um, but he did get a little antsy at the end. But before he could work himself up like the last time, uh, I was finished and we put him back out. So time to go get him some dinner and um, some dinner for me too. Where my guys go? I hate it when they walk away. I'm right in the middle. Don't they know that I'm doing a video? Horses. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> there they are, the three amigos. So this is a, a follow-up. I wanted to add this in to the end of that video from yesterday um, that you guys just saw like a millisecond ago. Um, I wanted to give you a follow-up as to what his cut and all that looked like um, after putting that salve on it for 24 hours. Well, no, it hasn't even been 24 hours really because I put it on last night and it's now... I don't know, one o'clock in the afternoon, maybe? But uh, they're having a very late breakfast because this morning I came out and I gave them a couple flakes of alfalfa. So they're having a, a late breakfast, early lunch, brunch type thing. I got Darcy over here and Jarvis is on the other side crying. Um, we're gonna switch them out today. So let me show you uh, what this looks like and um, show you how it's healing up. So yesterday you saw that, he's all sweaty. Ugh, he's all sweaty. You saw that he had rubbed his leg raw and, um, and what it looked like. Dude, I'm right here on this side, okay? I'm right here, bud. I'm gonna hang out in the back for a minute. So we put that salve on it yesterday and it was all red and bloody. And as you can see, just overnight, it looks so much better. Oh, our mailman's here. So it looks so much better. It's starting to heal up nice. Um, and I think, I think it'll be okay, but I think there'll be a scar there. So I have to think, what happened? You know, why, why did he rub his feet so much to make it so raw like that? Well, the only thing I can think of, and it didn't look like it was obsessive at the time, but now knowing a little bit more about him, about the possibility of what he used to be and how he's dealing with a lot of things, um, I'm thinking it was more obsessive compulsive, kind of like um, Tourette's. No, not Tourette's. That's not what I'm thinking of. But um, inflicting pain on yourself to kind of... Um, keep your mind off of the sorrows, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, I knew somebody that was like that. He would cut himself when he gets depressed, but, um, but, uh, I don't, I think, I don't know if that's, horses get the same thing, but it was very obvious that it was, um, compulsive. Uh, he just kept on doing it. I'll have to show you what the log looks like. Um, it's a mess. He moved like three logs and these are like big tree logs that fell down uh, last year, two years ago, two years ago. And we've just put them around the fire pit. All right, so come on through the yard. Hi, say hi to your, hi yours. Let's go through the people yard. And uh, you have to stay here, buddy. Sorry, you gotta stay here. You gotta stay on the people side. Okay. So there's Jarvis standing in the, the shade, being a good boy, all by himself. Okay, so this is our big fire pit that um, we, a tree had fallen down over there. And um, we've just cut the logs here, but look what he did. While he's rubbing that leg, just completely rubbed it all off. And this, this was moved, like over here. I mean, it was just way moved and then when it rolled he rubbed even more so yeah so I want to keep an eye on that he's not going to be on that side 
uh, for a very long time until we can actually watch him. So he'll have to be over here where there's nothing aside from the tree here, this tree, where he can rub his, his back feet on um, and get obsessed over it. So we're going to watch that. And um, that's going to be one additional thing that uh, we're going to have to bring him to the vet for that was unbudgeted. So um, a lot of people, I was told, I'm going to backtrack just a smidgen. Um, I was told by other horse dealers, and I'm not a horse dealer at all. I don't even want to be called one. I don't want to be associated as one. Sorry, I had something in my thumb. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I was told by a horse dealer when I was at an auction once that um, I'm spending all my profits in veterinary care. And I don't care. I really don't. Because that's not the way I run. Um, people who buy and sell horses as a living, obviously they're not, they're just make, making a profit off of a horse. They'll buy it for 900 bucks and sell it for 15. And the only thing they'll do is worm it, maybe, and give it hay for like a week, maybe. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not, I, I don't do that. I bring the horse in, it stays with me, it gets doctored, it gets vetted, and if anything happens, it needs it. And if it eats up my profits, it eats up my profits. I mean, it's not, that's not what I'm here to do. Obviously, I want to be able to buy a horse, I'm going to use the same example, buy a horse for 900 and sell it for 15 and only maybe put like three, four hundred dollars into it from veterinarians and stuff like that if I can possibly make like a little profit. Um, obviously, people who buy and sell things, they want to be able to buy it at a low price and sell it a little bit higher and still be able to have enough left over to buy more stuff so they can continue their business. That is business. <laughs> That's what you do. Um, but because we only do four horses a year, and I do take up a ton of time to do this um, of my own personal time because I don't do this full time. Although it is a full time job, so I have two full time jobs. Um, I want to make sure they're okay. You know, I, if somebody wants to buy them, I want to make sure that I can say, yes, this horse does this, 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 this. And if he doesn't or if you ask me a question that I don't know about well then I'll keep him from another week and I'll figure it out or if um, there's something that you want to see in a video because you're curious about him then I'll do it you know I'll show it to you um, so that's that's important to me you know as somebody who rescues these horses because I don't want them back where they came from that's that's not my end game you know my end game is to make sure that they have a good home and that they stay there until they die it's just my hope. <laughs> it's probably a foul, uh, tiny hope, but it is what it is, and that's what I want to do, and that's what I do with these guys, and that's that. Don't you dare try to push him out of his bucket, sir. I don't think so. You go back to your own bucket. Yeah, he listens to me. <laughs> I just got the tail swish. <sighs> Nerve. Of me pushing him so he can eat his food. That's what Jarvis does to him. Horses, you gotta love them. I'll keep you guys updated on that, and um, and we'll go from there. So hopefully we won't have to go to the vet. I'm gonna try to keep it clean so it doesn't get infected, but we'll keep a good eye on it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by and seeing Summerfield Farm and. Uh, the draft horses because <laughs> they're around here somewhere. Have a great day guys. Thanks again. See you tomorrow